If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate. Now, I am what former American overlord and adult movie star Kuchi Connoisseur would call a black. Oh, look at my African American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? Yes, despite being on a perpetual light skin nonsense tour, now featuring Doja Cat, I am 100% black, not even by race, born in the motherland. <laughs> If you were scared by that, you're racist. We caught you on camera. How does it feel to be a sick fuck? So for the handful of people who were wondering what my ethnicity was, I was incognito the whole time. Now what better way to honor my ancestral legacy and Black History Month than to rate my favorite instances of celebrities doing for the purposes of desperately trying to ensure that this video doesn't get demonetized. Let's call it Chocolate Face. Genuine chocolate face. Susan, please, let a bitch make some coin off of this. Now I know there might be some of you in the comment section thinking, it's not Black History Month, you absolute troglodyte. You think I subscribe to the Caucasian calendar? The Yakubian units of measuring time? My Black History Month begins whenever Kanye West does something questionable. So it's been Black History Month for two straight years now. As a melanated person, whenever I see chocolate face, I think, well, that's unfortunate, but also, Update profile pic. Also, share the link to my other messy black friends so that we can laugh at this. Am I happy about these occurrences? No. But as a newly minted American, how can I capitalize on this? Who would I be if not to do so? I can't help having an exploitative, I mean, entrepreneurial spirit. And that's how I know I belong in this beautiful, thick, prescription pill riddled, bedazzled, house arrest ankle bracelet of a country. Other YouTubers have done their ratings of n-word incidents and the subsequent apology videos, but your girl is upping it up a notch. Keep in mind, it takes a lot to like genuinely offend me as someone who has a very egregious sense of humor these are my own opinions i don't speak for any other black people nor could i really i mean we're not a monolith plus we already have a spokesperson or should i say we did r.i.p robert mugabe i'm sorry i mean r.i.p king now let's give some structure to these ratings zero to a three is Eh, it's not great, but it didn't quite make me want to vomit. Or it barely registers as chocolate face. I'm already regretting the decision to use that phrase. A four to a six is, this is activating the gag reflex, but I'm gonna be real with you. This genuinely made me burst out laughing. Eight to 10 is jump scare territory, with a seven being, yeah, this kind of made my ass itch, but it's missing that little something something, you know? What can I say? I'm picky with my racial insensitivity. I'm only gonna be using examples of people that you might have actually heard about or might care about just to keep this video concise, so warning! If you do not want to see offensive imagery and commentary, I don't really know what to tell you. Like, why did you click on this video? Did you not see the title? This is insensitive. Even as a black person, you shouldn't be making light of this issue. Um, to all my fellow black people who are just a little bit off, I know you're watching, okay? I can hear you breathing heavy behind your anime profile pics. Let's mock the absurdity of these people. Together. Also, if there are any of you who don't know what this is, or the history behind it, Google is free. I'm not an educator, I'm a propagandist. Let us begin. Rachel Dolezal, my ebony queen. This is arguably orange face. Oompa Loompa Core. She looks like she's about to start pop locking and dropping to a child drowning. She looks like she got waterboarded with a bucket of tang orange drink mix. I'm gonna give this a four out of 10, mainly because this infamous clip of hers never fails to make me laugh. Are you African American? I don't I don't understand the question. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. The only thing that could have made this better, or arguably worse, is if she just leaned in, as Sheryl Sandberg would say. I feel like this is the appropriate situation to use that phrase. And she just checked off every single egregious stereotype. Just holding a bottle of malt liquor in a brown paper bag in one hand, and a late child support notice in the other. You know what, throw in a free R. Kelly t-shirt. And then she donned that attire while giving a speech about being a black woman in America. Oh my god, could you imagine? I've mentioned this in previous videos and I'm gonna keep mentioning it to the unaware masses, but she has an OF, so if you wanna see this 
Nubian princess, up close and personal. You know where to go. This clip was sent to me a few days ago. Y'all might have seen this. It's actually what inspired me to make this video. Let me just show it to you. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke put little baby in a spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it on a high note. As devils do it, you and I know. Hold bitch, up. be humble. Sit down, Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Hold up, Hold up. Sit down. Bitch. Be humble. Bitch. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Sit down. Hold up, bitch. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Be humble. Yeah. First of all, what was this audience? Whose aunt is this? This is from a Polish talent show, I believe. Thank you, Eastern Europe, for blessing us with these little nuggets of out-of-pocket content. This falls into a category that you will see several more times within this video, called You Didn't Have to Do All That. I'm not of the opinion that a white person can't dress up or impersonate a black celebrity or character, and there's always going to be a level of sensitivity considering the history of minstrel shows and just general Caucasian skullduggery. I don't think that this performance was trying to mock Hendrick, so it doesn't give me the same sick feeling as watching like a traditional minstrel show. But if you wanted to do Kendrick, like this little Slavic manlet could have just wrapped the song. You didn't need to slather Nutella on your face and glue on lace front cornrows that belong on the head of a light skin love interest in a Tyler Perry movie. Also, this cover of Humble is whack. So promise me we like to keep it on a high now. The only acceptable cover of this song comes courtesy of this Honda Civic sign. I hate that the internet clowned this, I want to say Forever 21 employee on her lunch break, like this wasn't iconic. But when Ariani did the same exact thing, oh, now you want to recognize greatness. Typical. I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. It caught me so off guard when I first watched it. My brain skipped from being offended to just being amused. Now, if his song selection was I'm Black and I'm Proud by James Brown, I would have coughed up a lung. Now on to the shoe polish connoisseur himself, Mr. Shane Dawson. There are too many examples, so I'm just gonna stick to the highlights, which for me include what is supposed to be Randy Jackson and Wendy Williams. Now when I think Wendy Williams, I think stiff little wiggly. I think tig old bitties. I think, oh my God, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my God. Now with Randy, my first thought goes to that one episode of iCarly where it's revealed Miss Briggs has that shrine of him. Now. What the heck is this? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a jump scare. 9 out of 10. Oh my god. Stop. It's like a minstrel Jojo Siwa. You'd think after the 10th time of him sitting in front of the mirror, applying the brown foundation he stole from Shauna's purse, he'd have a joker moment, break down and think, what has become of me? Why am I even doing this? Well, tough tits. <laughs> your audience of 12 year olds who shoplift your t-shirt from Hot Topic need to be entertained. So why don't you get in front of that camera and film content that will get you placed on a Southern Poverty Law Center hit list. Next! I suppose it's time to mention the horse women of the apocalypse. Da 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 the ultimate beige ambassadors for the Percocet besotted gulag that is Calabasas. These beacons of white mediocrity <laughs> kept popping up while I was doing research for this video, which just consisted of me googling and then saving racist images onto my hard drive that with no context would get me placed on a watch list again. These women built a brand off of being culture vultures, and my personal theory is that Kris Jenner kept seeing people accuse her horcruxes, I mean daughters, of blackfishing and cultural appropriation, and she said, I'm gonna raise up an army of little vaguely brown caramel grandchildren who I don't think gestated in a womb. I think she planted a Jackson 5 CD and echo hair gel in her garden and every morning after rising out of her cryogenetic chamber, she watered them with Hennessy for about two months and then a little afro or a cornbread scalp emerged from the California soil and she yanked them bitches out like carrots. Dazing down at her precious new cash cows, she thinks, try canceling them now, Twitter. Courtney's kids are not included, but... Um, who cares? She's at least profitable. Plus, she's preoccupied humping Jack Skellington. So this was the image of Kylie Jenner that kept popping up. Now, I'm not one to stick my neck out for this family, but I don't even think this counts. The base color is clearly a purplish kind of blue. I'm surprised nobody on her team didn't realize that this was probably gonna ruffle some feathers and just decided not to post this photo shoot. Actually, who am I kidding? These people are hungry for any kind of press. Same thing with the examples of Kim. Honestly, this just looks like someone, not even necessarily her, Probably one of her stiff-faced minions put a filter on this photo. I'm gonna give it a 
one out of ten. On to our favorite Canadian soft boy, a man who thinks that he's a feminist because he enjoys women sitting on his face. His idea of foreplay is watching Katanji Brown Jackson getting sworn onto the Supreme Court. And Mm -hmm. Apparently this was for an Arabian Nights themed party. When these images first circulated, I heard that this was supposed to be an Aladdin costume. And I distinctly remember thinking, in what version of Aladdin did he resemble a sleep paralysis demon? This is the figure that you see in your peripheral vision when you move your eyes back and forth very quickly. Now, this would register as brown face, so eh, he's sneaking in on a technicality. This is a solid 10 out of 10. This is legit terrifying. Look at that jovial ass grin. I'm afraid that he's gonna unhinge hinge his jaw like a python and start galloping towards me on all fours. Be gone! Up next, one of my top three favorite light skins. Next to 2012 Justin Bieber and Sammy Sosa. Thank you to Pusha T or whoever on his team dug up this gem. He's probably out there getting his hair braided as I speak. Now the context of this photo shoot was meant to satirize how black actors are treated and expected to act in the industry or something. Despite the sort of disturbing imagery, Drake still manages to to radiate the where's my hug at energy, the light skinnedness, the tomfoolery, the mischievousness, if you will. It manages to break through the face paint and jazz hands. His consistency is unbelievable. Pusha was probably giggling like a little schoolgirl, kicking his feet in the air, twirling his braids around his finger while air dropping this to his team. Like, guys, I just found the perfect cover art to the diss track. Now, this is technically black er face, say. Five out of 10. It's just so petty. Pusha might as well have just used a screenshot from a scene from one of his baby mama's adult films. Or, you know, like a positive multiple sclerosis diagnosis. You stay with me. Uh, you stay with me. On to Colton Hayes, dressed as Kanye West. Now you might recognize Colton from the Teen Girl Spank Bank production known as Teen Wolf, or as Hot White Buff Guy number 546 from Ryan Murphy's Slave Contract series American Horror Story. He looks like the composite image of every frat boy from a state university that has a Lamborghini poster in their room. He looks like if the cock ring Ken doll became a real boy. If I wanted to dress up as an iconic person who happened to be a different race, let's say the 0% body fat Hong Kong bad boy, Bruce Lee. I know it's not the same exact thing, and obviously being Asian had an actual impact on Bruce Lee's life and career, but no, bear with me. My first thought wouldn't be, let me slant my eyes and paint my face like I have jaundice. I'd go, let me get a yellow track suit with the black streak. I've just seen a shoplift a pair of yellow juicy sweats and paint the black streak on. Make sure to not open any of the windows so that you inhale all of those paint fumes. That's called pre-gaming. Maybe some homemade nunchucks, a bottle of aspirin, if I'm trying to be disrespectful. What I'm saying is that you can pay homage to a person without turning them into a racist caricature. When I think about this era of Kanye, I'm thinking, you know, those like iconic shutter shades. This boy couldn't even get the most basic detail correct. What would a modern day Kanye costume even consist of? A stained Yeezy sweatshirt holding up an Excel spreadsheet filled with the names of Jewish executives? It would just be sad. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 costume all around. Now, little Jimmy Fallon, back when he still had cheekbones, this was like pre-Taxi and Twin Towers Jimmy. He apparently played Chris Rock in a sketch. This is just greasy. Did they just like not have a black cast member? Was this the season after Tim Meadows left? Also Tim Meadows? Kinda hot. I, I said it and I don't care. They should have just asked Jimmy to stand in the corner and giggle like he normally did. I'm more disappointed than anything. Seven out of 10, I guess. Jimmy Kimmel during his out of pocket era. So this was him playing Carl Malone? This man looks slimy. He looks like a turd in that greasy ass British animated film Flushed Away starring Tom Holland, one of my favorite thin-lipped leading men. Oh my god, he looks like a cryptid. I was about to say sorry to Mr. Malone, but after a quick Google search, well, never mind. This man can choke. I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. And finally, Jason Aldean as Lil Wayne. Well, we got another horrible Halloween costume. Now, Jason Aldean is a country singer, and I was aware of that, yet I never actually heard any of his songs. I'd like to imagine they sound like this. Shooting moonshine up my ass, call that bottoms up. 9-11 wouldn't have happened if I was there. Would have punched those planes out of the sky. Confederate flag, jockstrap, NASCAR. Baseball camp, blowing a Navy SEAL, cause I support the troops. Mm. 
America. Fuck you, Canada. It scares me sometimes uh, how talented I am. When I think Lil Wayne, that pocket-sized rapping gremlin man, honestly, I think of this iconic image. Those are his hooves, you bitch. If I was doing Lil Wayne, oh, wife beater, skateboard, bottle of cough syrup. Maybe carry around like a tiny little baby that had like a dollar sign written on its forehead because of young money. <laughs> I'm not helping myself. This doesn't really make my ass itch like some of the other examples or like scare the shit out of me. It didn't make me giggle either. Also, I just know that Mr. Aldean gets a semi-chub anytime some random person calls him problematic. So thankfully, I'm not even gonna have to give him the satisfaction. A seven out of 10. Why did I think this was gonna be more fun? Is this what happens when you grow up on the internet? You get so desensitized to edgy or offensive imagery that it just doesn't register. What is it like to feel? Well, do you agree with my ratings? Disagree? Kind of agree? If you've made it uh, this far into the video, I just want to say I hope that you get the help that you need. Shout out to my top patrons. I appreciate all of you. You're all so beautiful and you probably smell really good. <laughs> I hope that wasn't creepy. Actually, no, you guys would like it. I know y'all are little freaks. If you would like to join my Patreon, the link is in the description and on screen. Thank you to my other lovely patrons. Your support means a lot to me. Th that sounded sarcastic, but like I was being serious. Your names should be scrolling on screen as I speak. Bye.